Hi there, my name is Ashley Ray. I'm a fishing writer and blogger. I'm very excited over the next couple months to be working with Ontario's Highlands Tourism. I'll be touring this region and sharing my multi-species fishing adventures through social media, my blog, shelovestofish.com, as well as video. This is the region I started fishing in, so I have a lot of special memories here and a lot of experience as I fish year-round. They asked me to come up with a list of what to bring for someone who's new to the area or perhaps just getting into fishing, and this is what I came up with. First of all, you're going to want to make sure you have your fishing license and to check out any local regulations and slot sizes so you know what you can be targeting. Food, water, snacks. Um, I use a reusable water container, that way I'm not going through a whole bunch of plastic water bottles. Sun protection, sunscreen, hat. Um, I'm not a huge fan of sunscreen, so I'll often wear a long sleeve uh, sun protective clothing or a buff. Uh, covers my neck. I don't want to put sunscreen on my neck and it, it's also good to keep the bugs away. Um, case in point, bug spray, good to have. Um, if you're going to be fishing early in the morning or in the evening, it's good to have a headlamp with you. Um, depending on the time of year, uh, now especially, rain suits are good to have. You'll also want to dress for the weather, so bring any layers that you think you might need. Uh, for seed kit, Always good to have. If you're going to be fishing from shore, you can certainly downsize and put it in your tackle box and just bring a few items along. Now, onto the fishing side. Three tools that you won't want to forget. Pliers or forceps, scissors, and a hook sharpener. You should always have these. Don't use your teeth to cut the line. It's very bad. A tackle box, life jacket, net. Don't forget the net. And I just put together a few of my favorite items or my favorite uh, techniques for fishing in this region uh, for multi species, starting with panfish. Um, I like to use a float and a little 1 16th ounce jig head. Um, great for crappie. I will downsize a bit for pumpkin seed, bluegill, and perch. Um, <laughs> There's also. Um, Amazing bass fishing, both largemouth and smallmouth in the region. So I just picked a couple favorites. Senko, great for casting uh, along weed lines, around docks. This one's weedless, a uh, little weedless jig head, so those are really handy. It's also a great presentation for kids as well. My go-to for smallmouth, definitely a drop shot. Uh, it allows me to suspend my bait off bottom. So I'll cast that around rocky points and shoals and I'll even use it for largemouth as well, just casting around docks and structure. Um, another one that's great for bass um, and also good multi-species one that I've been using a ton this year is a chatterbait. Good for largemouth, smallmouth, also catch a lot of pike on it as well. And if you want to be targeting pike, a good presentation to use is a spinnerbait. Oh, you want to make sure you get a good quality one though because uh, pike can definitely be tackle busters so invest in a good spinner mate so they're not destroying it on you. For a walleye this time of year, love using a bucktail jig, ripping it through the weeds. It's a ton of, it's a ton of fun to uh, target them that way. And moving along to musky. Um, if you're planning to get out and target musky, you're going to want to make sure that you're set up properly. Uh, these fish are huge, or they can be huge, and you want to make sure that you're using the proper equipment to bring them in quickly and release them quickly. Uh, this time of year, love throwing blades for muskie. So if you have any species specific or location specific questions you want to ask, feel free to reach out or leave a comment. And uh, if you want to learn more about the Ontario Highlands region, visit comewander.ca.